Welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto with your host, my German mold wine mug. Yes, I know it's a mold wine mug. Um, I'm embarrassed to say that I did not know what mold wine was until mm, probably about four years ago. I believe I'd heard about it and read it in books. Um, a lot of the fantasy novels I like to read are set in a European setting, and people would talk about mulled wine. But I think my brain did one of those things where it just said, mm, alcoholic beverage, and skipped over it. Um, but I had a friend from Germany who was a Girl Scout, fellow Girl Scout, come here to Kyoto. And when they came, they brought me this mug as a present. And it is a Christmas theme one, of course, because why would you drink very, very hot mulled wine in the summer? Um, but she came to me in the summer, and it is the summer now, so I occasionally drink coffee out of it and remember her. And here I have one of my children's scouting badges, badge sets, because today... Um, with both of these objects, I thought I would discuss scouting in Japan. Um, a lot of people assume when they come to Japan, if they do not see evidence of something, that means it doesn't exist. Um, this is a very narrow view. Um, it is because you are sightseeing usually. Um, people who come for longer and live here, well, also though, however, not many times come across scouting. And this is because boy scouting and girl scouting is not as ubiquitous here as it is in the United States and other countries. Many children do scouting, but not to the levels at which it is done in uh, North America. Um, I do not know the rates of scouting in other countries. My, as I've mentioned in previous morning coffees in Kyoto, passport is uh, not so enlightening. So I can only speak based on the anecdotal evidence that I have encountered. Um, but that is that scouting is an outside of school activity. And because scouting is an outside of school activity, it has less participation. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, predominantly here in Japan since the early, mm, between the early 80s and mid 90s, the force of the school club became stronger and stronger and stronger um, to get the students involved in something outside of school. So there were issues with um, truancy and there were issues with students getting into trouble after school. And so one of the big pushes was to have kids involved in clubs. And when the students go to school, have fun at school, and then stay at school and do clubs, school becomes a place that they adore and love. And so most schools, I want to say all public schools, have a variety of amazing clubs um, that students can go to after school. And um, even in the case of like junior high schools and high schools, sometimes during lunchtime, they can go hang out with their club members. So clubs are a huge thing and almost all kids at school go to clubs. Now, because of this, um, most parents have their kids involved in their school clubs and then that becomes what they do. Um, as a parent, um, some of you watching may not be parents, but as a parent, I could tell you there's only just so much time in the week, um, especially the more children you have. Um, and so taking your child from activity to activity to activity can become a bit much. So the beautiful thing with the schools having clubs is that you don't have to take them there. They just stay there and they have club and then they come home a little bit later. Introduce scouting. So because of school clubs, scouting obviously cannot take place during the week. So then scouting becomes a weekend event. 
So here in Kyoto, at least, most of the scouting troops meet on um, Sundays. And so because of this, then it's a weekend activity, which a lot of people don't have things to do on the weekends. Some people do. Some people work on the weekends. But the Monday to Friday crowd um, can take their child on a Sunday. The attendance levels are similar to the attendance levels um, that I have seen in the United States, in which in the beginning of elementary school, you have a really high amount of kids joining Scouts. Then as they get older in elementary, move on to junior high school and high school, fewer and fewer children remain. Um, this is because those club activities I mentioned that occur in uh, Japanese schools also start happening on the weekends and so they infringe on their weekend time too but also there's only just so much time in the week so eventually you need to study maybe on Sundays so you cannot go any longer also kids get you know interested in other things maybe they join the band and they become more interested in music um, but because um, scouting is usually on Sundays and also because um, there are other things to do, um, and also because as they become older, just like in other places, scouting is quote-unquote not as cool, and not so many people do it, attendance rates fall. But it is something that is looked on as a weekend activity. What do they do in scouts? Very similar things that they do in um, scouts in other countries. They earn badges. They go on camp. Um, they work together to do various volunteer activities and things. Um, it is an awful lot of fun. Um, so if you are interested in scouting in any way, if you are interested in having your children in scouts, or if you're interested in volunteering, um, I urge you to connect with the local scouts in your community. It's easier now than ever before, almost every um, scout group has a Facebook page. So if you go on Facebook and you search around for your area, you'll undoubtedly find some sort of scouting somewhere, um, starting in your prefecture, and then get smaller and smaller and closer and closer to your city. Um, if you cannot navigate um, Facebook, in Japanese, simply find the kanji for your prefecture and go to Google Translate and type in Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts and copy paste that katakana into the Facebook search bar. Then um, put the kanji for your prefecture in after it. You will start to find them and then you can right-click Google Translate your page if you're using Google Chrome browser and find out what cities all of them are in. Um, then just send a message. You can send a message in English if you cannot speak Japanese and there is always a prefectural international committee person um, at the Scouts because every prefecture has their own kind of management group and so that person will undoubtedly either speak English or have access to someone who can speak English. And then they'll reply to you in English. So say, you know, I'm here in Japan for a short time, but I'd like to connect with a Girl Scout troop. Or, um, hello, I'm visiting Kyoto from another country and I'd like to connect with a Girl Scout troop while I'm there. Um, but Scouts exist here. And so if you want to connect with scout troops in any way, um, I encourage you to do so. And I am done with my coffee for today. Um, have a great day. And uh, yours in scouting. I'll see you later.